Here we are at Aptera headquarters. And uh, the folks are gathering for the reveal and factory tour. Should be awesome. You've actually, you've actually driven these things around, haven't you? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I think I've seen you before. My name is Rich Rodriguez. Okay, okay Rich. Will. Will. Reynolds, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've oh, spoken no. before. Oh, that was a while ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is you, good to see you. Are we going to run out of stuff? Should I get in line? I would recommend you get in line, but right. I don't think we'll run out. All right, good. Thank you. should be in that factory to make the most of that product, to have um, a quick build time, an efficient build time, and decrease uh, the cost of that product. Uh, he's done it for companies like, like Boeing, and Maytag, and Dodge, and Ford, if they would ever listen to him, and <laughs> other, other big companies. But um, it's been amazing to have him and his team on board with us, literally from inception, to say, if you, guys, if you guys can make a vehicle that has a body structure with only four parts, you are going to revolutionize transportation. If you guys can make this vehicle with simple build assemblies that you bring to a final assembly plant and just put them together, you will be masters of the supply chain. Um, and it's just been uh, great wisdom all along, every step of the way, uh, and I can't be happier uh, to have Sandy here today uh, to celebrate the unveiling of our latest vehicle. So please, welcome Sandy with your own tip. Well, uh, I'd like to first off uh, maybe echo the words. Um, I'm really, really happy to be here. I'm uh, also very happy to be associated with the latest and greatest of all the iconic vehicles that have come out. There's only a few that can be can be identified by their name. The Model T. Nobody has to say Ford. The Beetle. Nobody has to say uh, VW. And the Mini. Nobody has to say BMW. And now we've got the Actera. That is an iconic vehicle, and you all, I'm sure most of you have got money in this thing just like I do, you all are a part of a a revolution, it's the only word I can think of, a revolution that's probably going to take the, uh, uh, the 20, 20 century, whatever you'd call that, the 21st, yeah, 21st century, whatever century it is, I don't know, but anyway, <laughs> this is going to this is going to really uh, uh, be the vehicle that everybody's going to point at forever. It's got an iconic style, it's got an iconic, brand new iconic, uh, drive system, uh, solar system, everything about it says that this is the car for our times. So I'm very happy to be here. 
and um, I, uh, I hope you guys are really going to enjoy uh, the, uh, the new reveal that you're about to see here. So anyway, thank you very much for coming, and uh, make sure you tell your friends to invest. <laughs> it's, uh, it's amazing the progress we've made with, uh, with Sandy's help. Uh, and you know the culmination of three and a half uh, years of engineering and effort by our wonderful team here um, You know from the MES system to the electrical engineers to the chassis and body engineers and, and aerodynamics and uh, Thermal systems like it's, it's all had to come together to present to you our latest iteration of our vehicle Gamma we are um, excited uh, to show you our progress uh, and we hope you know that we're building on that progress. Um, we, uh, we're gonna drive Gamut in here in a couple seconds, but I hope you know that we penciled that design months and months ago. Um, and now we're almost done penciling the Delta design, uh, and that will be our production intent vehicle, and we hope to show you that very, very soon. So uh, thank you for all your support to get to this tremendous milestone, and I present to you Gamma. just like to comment on some pictures that I took. The fit and finish of the vehicle outside and inside was pretty darn good. I was very impressed with the two screens directly in front of the driver inside the vehicle. These two screens are intended to be the rear view mirror displays, if you will, projections of the rear view cameras. Again, the fit and finish was very, very nice. Another thing I'd like to comment on is the uh, solar on the roof. I'm not sure how they did it, but the fill factor, and what I mean by fill factor is how close they are together. The fill factor was nearly 100%. It appeared as if the cells were just about next to each other. So there was no wasted space, and thus the maximum energy will be produced from that area. Again, I was very impressed with that. And oh, by the way, in the picture of the roof, mostly what you're seeing is a reflection of the ceiling. You see the little connectors between the cells, the little copper-colored connectors? But the rest of it's really just reflection of the ceiling because the uh, roof was so um, highly polished. And then finally, uh, there's a picture of the, uh, the lift gate in the rear. And what you're seeing is that little red triangle. That's actually the third high brake light. There was some speculation about that from before. And there it is. So yeah, there's some um, interesting pictures. I have a lot more information, a lot more pictures, uh, process pictures, equipment pictures, et cetera, et cetera. But we're just going to have to leave that for another day. Until then, do take care and charge on. <laughs>